students uh, in this video we will discuss about the nitrogen fixation that is biological nitrogen fixation and this biological nitrogen fixation we will study uh, about the biochemistry of biological nitrogen fixation along with the a structure of nitrogenous enzyme so in this lecture we will study the, the uh, biochemistry of nitrogen fixation and uh, the structure of nitrogenous enzyme for the biological nitrogen fixation these are the requirements i, I can say the raw material these are the requirements for the biological nitrogen fixation the nitrogenous enzyme the big role of nitrogenase enzyme is to convert nitrogen into ammonia then the second enzyme is hydrogenase and its uh, work is to maintain the hydrogen ions or it can balance in between hydrogen ions and evolved hydrogen then reductant this reductant is necessary for electron transfer okay and then ATP. The ATP uh, is required for its hydrolysis so that it co can provide the energy for transfer of electrons. Then of course the oxygen free conditions. Why? Because nitrogen is, is active, it is reactive, it is uh, sensitive towards oxygen. Then Mg is required, Mg ions they are required for uh, they are attached to the ATP. So they are the required ions. So nitrogen enzyme. Nitrogen enzyme, it converts the atmospheric nitrogen to the ammonia when it reacts with the atmospheric hydrogen. And if we see the nitrogen, it is a very stable compound because it has triple bond. So it is very stable strongly uh, uh, chemically inactive compound so you can see what beauty of the nature that the nitrogen enzyme it consumes 16 moles of ATP and converts one molecule of nitrogen into two molecules of ammonia so this is the uh, the energy consuming process but in presence of nitrogen is it occurs so smoothly that we can't imagine. So we can uh, synthesize it by only providing the high temperature condition, high pressure condition, the catalytic uh, substances. But the plants or the microorganisms, they provide, they, they require nitrogen is and 16 moles of ATP to convert one nitrogen molecules into two molecules of ammonia. Now we will see the biochemistry of the biological fixation. So biological nitrogen fixation, it was discovered by Bizenik in 1901. And during this biological nitrogen fixation, the nitrogen is converted into ammonia or nitrates in presence of a particular enzyme that is nitrogenous enzyme and this is a kind of reduction process because you will see that the addition of hydrogen the addition of electrons it uh, can it uh, provides uh, this reaction as a reduction reaction then the first stable compound that is formed in the biological nitrogen fixation is ammonia. We will see how uh, this uh, hydrogenase and nitrogenase works. So nitrogen uh, gas is splits into two nitrogen atoms in presence of nitrogenase enzyme. So this is uh, an endothermic kind of reaction. Now uh, the hydrogenase works with the hydrogen. So hydrogen can be recycled in presence of hydrogenase and this is a reaction that is exothermic in nature. So in presence of nitrogenase, nitrogen will convert into atomic nitrogen and this uh, hydrogenase will recycle the hydrogen produced during the nitrogen fixation.
we see the reaction of this nitrogen fixation biological nitrogen fixation then if we see the uh, conversion of nitrogen to ammonia then we will see that in general six electron can be utilized for the reaction of nitrogen and uh, we already know that during the biological nitrogen fixation one hydrogen molecule evolved so if one is evolved then two extra electrons will be required so this for this requirement the biological nitrogen fixation it requires eight electrons so we have to remember that the biological nitrogen fixation require eight electrons for conversion of one mole of nitrogen to two mole of ammonia and have one mole of hydrogen also evolved. So we have to remember about the eight electrons. Now, if we see the transfer of one electron, it requires two moles of ATP. From where the electrons come from? The electrons come from the ferridoxin. This ferridoxin is generated through the photosynthetic or oxidative processes of the plants. So these will produce ferridoxin and this ferridoxin, it, it gives the electrons for the reduction of nitrogen and for the transfer of one electron, two molecules of ATP are required. So for uh, transferring eight electrons, it requires 16 ATP molecules. So this is the general uh, aspect of this uh, biological uh, nitrogen fixation reaction. As we know, one nitrogen will convert into two moles of ammonia and one mole of hydrogen. So it requires eight electrons. So if it requires eight electron, then it will require 16 ATP because one electron will require the transfer of one electron will require two ATP. So ATP will convert it into ADP plus inorganic phosphate. So this is the simple mathematical calculations for the nitrogen fixation reaction. We will discuss about the structure of nitrogenous complex. So nitrogenous enzyme is a metalloenzyme. So why it is a metalloenzyme? Because enzyme, it, it has metals. So due to the presence of metals, this is called as metalloenzyme. It fixes the atmospheric nitrogen at a room temperature. So this is a big thing that it requires, it, uh, it, fixes the nitrogen at room temperature, not a very high temperature. So it requires around 25 to 30 degree centigrade temperature, not 400 to 450 degree that is required for a chemical nitrogen fixation. And on the basis of active sites, the nitrogenic complex can be classified into three types. It is three of three types, molybdenum nitrogenase, vanadium nitrogenous and iron only nitrogenous and among these the molybdenum nitrogenous is the most studied nitrogenous enzyme so we will discuss about the structure of molybdenum nitrogenous so, molybdenum nitrogen complex is made up of two protein components one protein component is femo protein and the other protein component is Fe protein. So these are the two protein components. This Fe MO protein component, it is having two clusters. One is P cluster and other is Fe MO cofactor, which also can be represented by Fe MO CO. So Fe MO protein and Fe protein. These are the two parts of molybdenum nitrogenase. And P cluster and FEMO or MOFE cofactor are the parts of FEMO protein. This is the uh, diagrammatic representation of uh, this nitrogenous enzyme. So you will find that this portion is the FE protein and this portion is the 
एफ ई एम ओ और एम ओ एफ ई प्रोटीन दिस एफ ओ एम ई प्रोटीन इट हैज फोर सब यूनिट्स टू बीटा एंड टू एल्फा सो एल्फा सब यूनिट्स आर शोन बाय ग्रीन कलर वाइल दी बीटा सब यूनिट्स आर शोन बाय दिस पर्पल कलर दिस एम ओ एफ ई प्रोटीन हैज टू पार्ट्स वन इज एफ ई एम ओ को फैक्टर एंड अदर इज पी क्लस्टर सो दिस इज पी क्लस्टर एंड दिस इज एफ ई एम ओ को फैक्टर इन केस ऑफ एफ ई एम ओ प्रोटीन इट हैज टू सब यूनिट्स बट द टू सब यूनिट्स दे आर सेम सो इट हैज बीन शोन बाय द सेम कलर द प्रोटीन दिस हेलिक्स दे आर शोन बाय द सेम कलर and it has fes cluster so this yellow colored cluster is fes cluster and this is the part of fe protein and this brown and this yellow color these are the part of mo fe protein okay so this is the general structure of nitrogenous enzyme now this fe mo protein so i will discuss about the fe mo protein i have already told you that this is having the four sub unit that are not identical so two are alpha and two are beta so it is hetero tetrameric protein it has two components one is p cluster and other is fe mo cofactor and these two are joined via cysteine at one iron of the fe mo cofactor and Uh, the cysteine at the mo atom of fe mo cofactor i will show you the uh, uh, the structure of these clusters if we see the structure of p cluster the p cluster has two fe4 s4 cluster cubins these cubins they are bridged via two cysteine ligands i will show you then the two fes4 clusters they are linked via disulfide unit and they uh, the two clusters they are joined via their faces okay so and p cluster they have six cysteine residue and this cysteine residue they are joined to throw the fe atom of the fe mo cofactor the structure of p cluster and this in this p cluster you will find two cubins fe4 s4 units so this is one cubin and this is another cubin so here 1 2 3 4 fe and 1 2 3 4 s again in this cubin also 1 2 3 4 fe and 1 2 3 4 as so it is fe4 s4 unit and it is also fe4 s4 unit so in this case you will find that uh, this these two cubins they are joined together via this cysteine here and one cysteine here and also they are joined via disulfide linkage there are six cysteine with this p cluster 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and this cubin is different from this cubin because in this cubin there is there are two cysteines while in this cubin there are two cysteine and one serine okay now this uh, is having fe center and this is uh, meant for receiving electrons so it is helpful in transferring electrons and it is not the main center for nitrogen fixation but it only transfers electrons from fe protein to mo fe cofactor this is the second part of fe mo protein and which is fe mo cofactor and it is also known as nitrogenous it is nitrogenous actually this is the main center where you will find the nitrogen fixation will takes place so it is fe mo cofactor is fe7 mo s9 x it has two fragments mo fe3 s3 and fe4 s3 you will find in here here there are four fe and here one fe is replaced by mo and these two units they are joined by a three sulfide bridges 
okay so this is nitrogenous and which finally accept and uses electron and convert nitrogen into ammonia so the nitrogen fixation takes place here the p cluster and fe protein they are helpful in the transfer of electron towards this femo cofactor this is the structure of femo cofactor and i i have told you that there are one two and three and four fe and three s in one unit and in another one two three f and one mo and 3s and these two are joined via s 3s linkage okay and here you will find this fe is not fully coordinated it is four coordinated and mo is fully coordinated so the nitrogen will bind here and mo will act as active site so this is actually responsible for the nitrogen fixation process. This is the main center of nitrogenase enzyme. So this is nitrogenase actually. The other part of the nitrogenase enzyme is Fe protein. And this Fe protein is homodimeric. It has two units which are equal. These two units are equal and uh, this is also known as nitrogenase reductase Ni this is nitrogenase reductase it accepts electron from ferritoxin and it is very important it is uh, has having one fe4s4 center and one binding site for atp why binding site for atp because during the transfer of electron atp hydrolysis is necessary Two ATP hydrolyze during the transfer of one electron. Okay, so electron was supplied through the ferritoxin to this Fe protein first, and at that time, this uh, hydrolyzed ATP. And after, during ATP hydrolysis, some conformational changes takes place in the nitrogenase complex, so that this Fe protein it comes near to the p cluster and uh, of the FOME protein for electron transfer. So electron will transfer from Fe protein to p cluster, p cluster to FEMO cofactor and then in the FEMO cofactor the reduction will takes place. Now we conclude this uh, lecture. In this lecture we have studied about the biological nitrogen fixation biochemistry. How, uh, what are the requirements of the biological nitrogen fixation? What is the, uh, the requirement that are how, what are the number of electrons, what are the number of ATP that are uh, uh, required for the uh, biological nitrogen fixation then we have studied about the nitrogenase complex that is a metalloenzyme and then we have studied uh, the structure of nitrogenase uh, that contains two proteins that is made up of two proteins one is femo protein and other is fe protein and these two proteins they are very important and finally the nitrogen fixation takes place at the femo cofactor so this is all about uh, this lecture thank you very much